Hey everyone, this is David with Benchmark. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the S321s with an external ADL Vantage radio. Uh, pretty easy. We're just going to go to the Equip tab and click on GPS Base to set up our base. Uh, once this menu opens, we're going to make sure it says Manufacturer Hemisphere GNSS Model S321. And we're going to go to the Comms tab. We're going to choose from this drop down what uh, we want our base to be. If you haven't set up a Bluetooth pairing with the receiver yet, you can use this wrench button on the side to set that up. I've already done that, so I'm just going to click on this cable and receiver button right there. And that's just going to establish a Bluetooth connection with the receiver I want to view my base. There you go, it's good to go. I'm going to go to the receiver tab. Uh, make sure your antenna type is the HEM S3SX07A and uh, enter your antenna height. You're going to want to measure that from the bottom of the receiver to the ground. Um, I'm just going to leave it mine at 1.5 meters and then I'm going to go to the RTK tab. Now I'm going to make sure my baud rate is on 9600 right here. And I'm going to make sure my device says cable or generic device. Um, my message type, I'm going to use rocks because it just gives us a bit more information than if we used RTCM or something like that. Then I'm just going to hit the green check mark up top. Alright, now to get my base position, I'm just going to use read from GPS. Now you can get your base position however you're comfortable with it, but uh, I'm just going to use this for now. I'm going to take 10 shots and take the average of all 10. Out. All right, once that's done, I'm just going to click yes to continue with the base setup. All right, and then I'm not going to save my settings to file, but you can if you want to. And then we're going to go to equip GPS rover. Now we're going to again make sure manufacturers hemisphere GNSS and models S321. And in the comms tab, same as before, we're just going to choose from this drop down menu the receiver we want to use. Click that button up top to set up a connection. All right. Then I'm going to go to the receiver tab. For the rover, you want your antenna type to be the HEM S321. And your antenna height measured the same way you measured your base from the bottom of the receiver to the ground. I'm going to leave mine at 1.5 meters for now, and then move on to the RTK tab. Uh, for the rover, we're going to want to use the internal UHF radio, and I'm just going to click this wrench button next to that to configure the settings in there. All right, now that we're in here, we're just going to want to make sure our protocol is PC1 and that our channel is on the same frequency as our uh, external radio is. Uh, mine already is, so I'm just going to hit the green check mark up top to set up the radio. Once that's done, I'm just going to hit the green check mark again, and that's just going to finish setting up the rover. Alright, now I'm just going to check on the status by going to store points right here. And as you can see we're already fixed. We got horizontal error of 5 millimeters and vertical error of 7 millimeters, 6 millimeters. And uh, that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. You can check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials on the S321 or see the performance videos we have up there. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit our website at www.bench-mark.ca. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.